I've already pre-shuffled and I'll be using two oracle cards for your advice. Those are, the, those are the two cards that are to the very far left side of the screen. Then we'll go through the past, the present, the challenge, and outcome. So Leo, for your advice we have I am unapologetic about what I desire and trust that what I focus on will grow. And then we have pray. Um, on the flip side of this card, it says, I am open and receptive to the power of grace in my life now. I ask to be shown clear examples of how this energy is operating in my life. So with these two cards basically saying for your advice from Oracle today is that there is no need to be apologetic, apologetic about what um, you desire and you trust that what you focus on is going to grow so if you mix that with prayer and um, like I said prayer is about being open and receptive to the power of grace in your life so if you mix the two together with prayer and focus um, things will grow for you and you would have no reason to be unapologetic about what your desires are you prayed you prayed for it and you're watching your prayers grow now that prayer is from Oracle it's an Oracle card and um, that's from a person that that wrote the prayer on the back of the card you can't see it but uh, I know what it says on the black back of the card but if you're interested in a real prayer from the um, from a higher power or a real real prayer that will get you um, answers and solutions that's Matthew 6 9 or either Luke 11 2 those are the real authentic prayers that are in the Bible and so that's your advice and then we'll move on to the present so in the present we have the Empress and the page of wands sorry I didn't mean the present we're gonna start with the recent past then we'll move on to the present so Leo in the recent past we have the Empress now with the Empress, this person, the Empress, does not play by the rules. The Empress has her own way of doing things and her own idea of what is right and what is wrong in any and all endeavors. That doesn't mean that she will always get her way, but the Empress is a reminder not to ignore your creative and intuitive side. And that was probably you in the recent past. You probably came in abundance, but you didn't make the mistake of thinking that it would be that way financially. Because you knew that there were many types of wealth and riches in life and money was only one of them. And you also probably knew that you could definitely encompass any or all of them. Now, the Empress, when it comes to questions about love and romance, this, is, this would have been a very potent time for love. And you probably found that men and women alike, they were suddenly finding you far more attractive both in terms of friendship and for romance and you 
would have had to be careful with how you use that power. Don't, under, don't underestimate it. Don't underestimate that power. That's what you needed to make sure that you were not doing. And if you were single and you are looking for a relationship or love, then this would have been a time when true love could have very well came your way. In fact, if you were single and not looking for true love, it probably seeks you out anyway. Committed relationships, they often become sweeter, deeper, and truer under the influence of the Empress. Now, the Empress is paired with a page of wands, which is about people being warm, ambitious, high achievers. If this is not an actual person that you're dealing with or an actual person that's coming towards you or that came towards you in the recent past, it's about the energy of easy distraction. So you would have needed to try to stay focused in the recent past. It, um, this card, it indicates that things you started some time ago, they're probably starting to come to fruition, come to life. It can also show a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, new ideas. This page, it brings us very positive energy, but you would have needed to supply the follow through for things to happen. And when you ask about love and relationships and you get this card in a reading, the page of wands, messages of love and affection, they were probably coming towards you or they were probably there for you. And if you were single, a new suitor with whom you had a lot in common with and who was adventuresome, they probably stepped into your world at that time. You needed to, or you did take a chance on them, but only if you were available. If you were committed and unhappy, it would not have been the time to begin this, I'm sorry, if you were committed and if you were unhappy, Um, in the recent past, it would have been it would have been a time to begin to decide if the relationship that you were in that made you unhappy, if it can be saved, and how long you're going to try to make it happen. Keep in mind, both parties would have been both parties would have. They would have been, how could I say this? Both parties would have to be willing to work on the relationship. And if your partner wasn't at that time, it might have been a good time to move on. So with these two cards paired together, the Empress and the Page of Wands for your recent past, you could have had a lot of attention from others. People wanted to be your friend. People wanted to uh, date you. You had a lot of attention from a lot of people at that time in the recent past. Okay, but you have to be careful with that though because you probably attracted uh, all kinds of people. Good, bad, uh, your type and not your type. Okay, so it was probably um, hard to stay focused with this Page of Wands. Yeah, like I said, the Page of Wands is about easy distraction. So you were very distracted by all this attention you were getting. And uh, you had a hard time staying focused. You were easily distracted. And um, that was probably 
It could have been a good thing and it could have been a bad thing because with the Page of Wands, you had an opportunity for, uh, well, it probably was good and bad because it brought about the opportunity for new things, new adventures, new approaches, and new ideas. So I say bad because it just depends on how you use or how you made the best out of, out of all the the people that were seeking your attention and um, wanted to get to know you. So it could have went either way. It just depends on how you, like I said, how you use all of that um, attention. And like I said, the page is a it's not a bad card, but you had to you have to stay focused. And if you couldn't stay focused, um, you might have missed out on some some new beginnings. And that's in the recent past. So let's move on to the present. We have the Ten of Swords, and then we have the World card. Now the Ten of Swords is a clear signal to be careful about where you put your trust. When the 10 comes up in relation to a question whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable, this is a pretty clear answer, no. You see how he's down on the ground, he's out for the count, and he's got all these swords in his back. So no, you cannot trust the situation. However, try to keep in mind that whenever a door closes, another door is going to open. You are probably being guided to a situation that's better for you. Trust yourself and trust in the universe. It's paired with the world card. The world card is about completion. You worked hard. You worked hard and you're almost to the finish line in some way. So don't quit now when you're so close. You're almost definitely in need of some well-deserved rest and relaxation. Don't be afraid to take it at this time. You are getting closer and closer and closer to who you really are at your deepest levels. Now, when it comes to work, there's a very good chance that you could be working way too hard for way too little recognition and money it's going to be important now that if this is the case go right ahead and blow your own horn toot your own horn you've heard that before and this will make sure that the powers that be they don't accidentally overlook your many accomplishments so with the ten of swords and the world card for the present um Trust is an issue, and if your instincts tell you something's not right, then it's not right. Okay. But there could be something that you're working on. Something you're working on, something, something you're trying to accomplish, and you could feel like it's never, ever going to be completed. It's never going to stop. Um, if it's something that could be some type of situation that, that's ongoing and it just feels like it's just going to get dragged out for all of 2020, well, guess what? It's about completion with this world card. Uh, it may seem like it's not going to stop or come to a come to a halt, whatever the situation or... Whatever the the issue is, well now, like I said, it's so close to completion. Um, just get some rest because you're probably, like I said, exhausted from whatever situation that, that you're hoping comes to a completion. And um, it's almost completed. You're so close. Just don't give up on what it takes to complete it. Just don't stop what you're doing because you're so close to the finish line 
you probably don't even know it so just don't quit now because it's it's closer to completion than you know or than you realize so it has something to do with trusting the situation or the person and it's causing you to think that whatever the situation is is that it's it's draining you so it's draining you with this ten of swords and what you don't know is that it's almost over or it's almost completed so just hang in there and um, like I said it's closer to completion than you know and that's for the present time now let's head on over to the challenge we have the Page of Swords and then the Two of Swords. Now the Page of Swords, it can sometimes stand for stand for an actual person in your life. If so, if this is the case, uh, the, the Page will represent a person who's younger than you. Often indicating that a message is coming. Now, in this instance, it may not be what you're hoping to hear with the Page of Swords. Um, it tells us that you might be trying too hard, pushing too fast, or stepping on the toes of others. You may need to study the body language, body language of others at this time and consider how well you do or do not accept constructive criticism from others you're likely to have a great deal of mental and physical energy at this time so try to use it wisely the page of swords is paired with the two of swords now this tells us that your partnerships they should be going at least somewhat well whether they're friendships or romantic or business However, you should consider the depths of your commitment to equality in those relationships and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your partner. If you are not, it could be a time to bring things back, back into balance. This will certainly require communication, a lot of talking on your part because nothing is going to change without effort. So this Page of Swords and the Two of Swords pair together for your challenge. Um, there's some type of information coming to you. It could be a message, it could be a phone call, it could be a letter in the mail, and it's something that you're not hoping to hear. Okay. Uh, so it's something that you're not interested in. And it's paired with the Two of Swords. So it's about the Two of Swords is bringing things back into balance. So whatever this message is that's coming in, it's probably from a younger person because the page is youth. So, uh, being that you got those swords in your back at the present time, we talked about that at the present, in the present time, it's from a younger person. Uh, this younger person could be not telling you the truth. Because remember, remember when I said that could you believe if what they're telling you is true? The answer is no. So this younger person is somewhat younger than you. It could be by a day. It could be by months or years. Okay. They're going to, they'll be giving you a message. Maybe text messaging. Who knows how it's going to come to you. But just remember that it's probably something you do not want to hear and it's probably not true or either halfway true not fully the truth okay so who knows what it is 
but it's going to be a time for you to bring things back into balance and it's going to require open communication you're going to have to talk about whatever the situation is whatever the message is you're going to have to talk remember to talk about it don't just bury it under the rug because it's going to come back up tomorrow or either down the line it'll come back up so you're going to have to balance out whatever this is I don't know if it's a situation or if it's a what it is but it's dealing with some type of message and it's coming and it's not what you want to hear and it's probably not the truth okay so talk about it get to the bottom line this will help bring you back into balance okay and this will help take those swords out of your back that we're looking at at the present moment all right so that was a challenge now let's move on to the outcome we have the two of wands and then the three of cups now the two of wands it's important for you to keep your balance in every way there's that word again balance in every way that you can at this time even to the simple boring mundane things like eating right getting enough rest the two of wands also indicates partnership with another person now this can be business or personal or both this card it reminds us to stay mindful of the give and take that's required for all successful relationships if things are feeling out of balance for you now just know that they are about to get substantially better so make sure you keep your eyes on the prize that you're looking for and just stay positive or get positive and that's the two of wands it's paired with the three of cups now the three of cups is often considered to be a card about reunions but that's not it's well it's about reunions but it could be romantic or it could be a friendly reunion okay so it could go either way this type of reunion in the broadest sense is like running back into someone or something that's been away for a long time it's meeting up with purposefully okay so it, it's meeting with purpose so someone that's been away from you for a long time uh, it could be a return of a uh, long lost love. It could you could run back. You could run into a friend that you haven't seen in 25 years, 10 years. Okay. Now this is with the three of cups. It's considered to be a very very happy reunion. It's a it's going to be very upbeat. It also can mean celebration your own or someone that you care about such as a celebrating a new baby a wedding or other happy occasions so it could be a few things running into a long lost love um or just running into uh someone that's been away for a long time now, with these two cards paired together for your outcome, the Two of Wands and the Three of Cups, like I said, this reading is a lot about balance. So you need to, it seems like you need to try to focus on balance, balancing your life out at this time. Making, maybe making a schedule for your daily routine. Um, maybe Sometimes that helps, making a schedule and then sticking to it. Uh, like I said, even if it's, just doing simple things like eating right and getting enough rest so try to balance yourself balance your life out because we talked about that in pretty much all through this reading and then this reunion 
Yeah, this reunion is going to be important because it's it's happy. It's a, a reason to celebrate. So when this reason, I mean, when this reunion comes toward you, you want to be balanced. And that's probably why balance is is what's coming up so much in this reading. Is because this reunion is going to be really, it's going to be big for you. Okay, because uh, it's a very happy occasion. It could be, you know, your, the ex that you've always, that you never stop loving. It could be that person. And when they come back to you, you don't want to be imbalanced and seeming like you're just all over the place and not together. So, yeah, start eat. First thing is to start eating right if you're not. Okay, because that. A lot of people don't know, but when you're not taking in the right foods, your mind is not right either. Okay, and then we don't really look like we want to look. So start with a healthy diet and then balance out the rest of your life, if possible. Because I know, I don't know everyone's situation. But um, yeah, so I, that's what I'm picking up is that you need to focus on getting things balanced in your life bringing things back into balance because of this reunion. Yeah, you want to be together or at least seem like you're together when this person comes back. Okay, because it's going to turn out to be a happy reunion. A very happy reunion. And it could turn into something even more. You never know. So, Leo, I hope you enjoyed this reading. There's going to be a link below of the extended version of this reading and I'll go into more details about what will happen. I just want to say thank you so very much for watching. Please leave a comment. Please subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell. You'll get posts. You'll get a um you'll be notified whenever I post a new reading. So I'm hoping that you are enjoying 2020 and I am wishing you a very happy February.